Hi, welcome to Ray Recommend. Today I want to put two Jamaican poets on your radar. Recently I was visiting the University of West Indies in Jamaica and uh, I came across a poetry book called The Merchant of Feathers by a poet called Tanya Shirley. And I was already familiar with the name Tanya Shirley because of the Carcanet anthology edited by Kai Miller, New Caribbean Poetry, definitely worth checking out. Um, so I was really excited to find a full collection of her work and, uh, and I was not disappointed, I was very moved. Tanya's poetry is historical and allegorical and it speaks back to other great Jamaican poets like Mervyn Morris and Lorna Goodison. Poems like Recompense and Teaching Jane Eyre and uh, many of the poems which praise and mourn uh, and observe the landscape and character of Jamaican life. The, the poem that I want to just talk briefly about uh, again is Recompense. I really found it very interesting, uh, particularly as someone who is also of mixed Caribbean heritage. The poem is about um, remembering a girl that uh, the speaker in the poem went to school with, uh, a girl called Janet, who is in a history lesson and she stands up and she claims mixed race identity. She claims to be half Scottish and, uh, and makes this other broad claim that when reparations comes to fruitation uh, she will be entitled to some money as she says money in this blood um, and that somehow is her stake in superiority above the rest of the class but the rest of the class who are all black uh, are telling her to sit her black ass back down and uh, I recently read this book by Colin Grant, The Natural Mystics, I and I, really recommend it. And there's this scene uh, in that book where Colin Grant, who is a black uh, Jamaican man but born in England, he's on the island, he's in the back seat of a taxi and he's saying, I want to uh, stop off and I want to get some fruit. So he manages to get out and he buys these, well he attempts to buy these bananas uh, from a Jamaican stool holder, a woman, and he realises that the bananas aren't actually that fresh, they've kind of gone off a little bit. And the woman comes out and accuses him of knocking over the bananas and making them rotten. So he's like, no, 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 I don't, I don't, that's not true, and I'm just going to get in the car and I'm going to find some other fruit elsewhere. And the woman starts shouting at him and she calls him a white man. You, you don't think you're better than us because you're white. And Colin says to himself in the book, my skin is definitely black. Um, and then he goes on to explain how race and class in a place like the Caribbean have, have merged. They are one of the same thing. And so the way that he's perceived, or the way that he puts it, is he, in Jamaica he is socially white, but consciously black. And I feel like uh, a lot of the poems in The Merchant of Feathers by Tanya Shirley uh, even though she's, she is a black Jamaican woman, she's very aware of the climate um, politically that she is rising into and she's able to um, highlight a lot of those tensions. The next book you should check out is Chan by Hannah Lowe. Like Tanya Shirley's collection, a lot of the poems are uh, memory, exploring, um, Jamaica and characters and time and place. So this collection is more focused on uh, a character who is a family friend of Hannah Lowe's. He, he was a Jamaican saxophonist called Joe Harriet. I want to read uh, a poem in this book because in some ways it speaks to uh, Recompense by Tanya Shirley. Uh, the poem is called What Charlie Said. Look, it's like this. You like dogs. You buy a dog. Let's say you buy an Alstation. Huge ears, slobbering tongue, you know the deal. Let's say your neighbours get a Chihuahua. Poncy little dog. Yap, yap, cross-eyed. Now, they're both dogs, right? But they're different breeds. They're different species. You're not going to mate them. No way you're going to mate them. Because what would you get? Precisely. It wouldn't be right, would it? 
I'm not a racist, but it's the same with humans. We're from different species, different civilizations. Some of us need to be out in the sun, so we've got black skin. Others live where it's cold, like this poncing country, so we're white. When you've got your Indians, your Pakistanis, job done. I don't mind them coming over here, but we're not meant to mate. No way. I've read a book about it. I've thought about it. It's not about race. It's the same with dogs. We're just different breeds. Like your dog, Chloe. She's sweet, but she's not pedigree. Not the best she could be, is she? Exactly. I've known your dad half my life, but oh, we've had some rows about this one. I told him, Chan, look, it's like dogs. No reason not to get on. Just don't mate them. But he sits there in his armchair, lights his cig and looks at me like I'm a fool, like I'm a bleeding idiot. If you want to hear um, Hannah Lowe talk about her own process and how this book of poems came to be, you can check uh, episode 26 of Ray Recommends. I gave her an interview. And lastly, quick shout out to Deaf Poets Society. Do check them out if you're interested in discovering more um, deaf and disabled voices in poetry and prose. And they've published a few poems of mine on deafness. So yeah, check it out. Ray recommends.